Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for some more Discord channel and server permissions tutorial, talking about what permission synchronization is, and what you would use that for, and maybe why you would use it. And the example I have is, I've got a category here called Gaming on my public Discord, and the gaming category itself has different permissions than the gaming hangout voice channel that I have set up right here. I just recently adjusted the gaming permissions and I'd like all of the other channels that are down here to share the same sort of permission subset. So what I would do is I'd go to edit this channel, have a look at the permissions, and down here, uh, for whatever reason, I blocked off random people from being able to use this, and I'd like this to be the same permissions as the category. Rather than, you know, writing down or memorizing all of the different permissions inside of the categories section to allow people to do this, and maybe there's a bunch of other stuff, rather than having to memorize that or think about it every time I adjust a channel, instead, I'll go down to the Gaming Hangout, and I'll go to Edit this channel, and I'll just go here and I'll say Synchronize the File Permissions, or all of the different, you know, chat permissions. And now all of a sudden this chat channel, this voice chat channel, now shares all of the default permissions with the category channel. And that's just a nice way of going through and changing multiple channels to share the exact same permissions with the category in case there's kind of like a cluster of bizarre permissions that someone screwed up or you forgot to change yourself. Just makes it really easy to make sure everything is the same between the category and all the other channels. Similarly, you can synchronize the permissions from a role that you just changed across the entire server to make sure that everything is uniform, then you can go back in and do manual adjustments later. That said, you shouldn't use the synchronize functionality if you want this gaming hangout to have its own specific set of exclusive permissions. If you hit the synchronize button, it'll erase everything that you've worked on. So be careful with why you do that and how, so you don't erase all of your hard work. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is sort of just an example of where the permission sync is helpful, when you would use it, and how to use it. Hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.